Alright guys, testing out the new GoPro mount. I've been meaning to buy this thing for years. It's just on the large option, so it can still go up like two more uh, wide in the setting. This is 4K 30. This would be at 60. Anyway, just wanted to see how it looked. I need to really adjust it. I guess we can go sit in the car. It's really weird having the extra weight on the helmet. It's odd. Get in the car and see how it how it feels. See how it looks from the video. If I gotta angle it a little bit different or not. See if I can. Yeah, I'm looking at the reflection up here. You guys can see my hands decent. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see speed now. And uh, like I said, I can still widen it up a bit. So let's widen it up and check that. Wow, I'm actually surprised on how well it looks. So this is on the wide version. Let me know if you guys like the clip before or this one better. I usually don't like going to the super wide because it seems just like too weird on like the outside of the video. But uh, yeah, there's this. And uh, I guess we can kind of start what this video is really going to be about. If I'm lucky this weekend, so we're calling for nothing. As far as I hopefully block that out there. Um, as far as I know, it's like rain all weekend. I really want to make a video with these tires. So we'll grab her keys. I already threw them in the in the truck. Kind of way like the way that the video looks with the helmet. It, it kind of messes with the audio. So for that, guys, I apologize. Get here in the truck. Look at them bad boys. RT660s. Got them in two 45, 40, 18. Same size as I have my uh, PS4S's in. Hopefully they are uh, not too wide, not too tall. But uh, these are going to be a ton more sticky. Look at all that tread depth. This is going to be super nice. So the plan is this weekend if we can squeeze it out of the rain is to go out do some quarter mile runs on these tires specifically looking at like zero to 60 60 foot um and then comparing that to with those tires hopefully on the same day same road just get a little comparison i couldn't find any straight up comparisons between the two on youtube so you know as a youtuber i want to make a video on it so hopefully that's what happens in the rest of this video. All right, guys, we are back the next day. I just made this little contraption in the car. Um, we'll see if this works. Hopefully it doesn't get too much weight. Like, I don't think it'll move too much. But basically what I want is the draggy overlay. So we're going to set the draggy here, go out and do some runs. And I want the overlay from the phone screen, but it's hard to hold the phone and do it at the same time. Kind of, I might have to revert to that, but if I don't have to... This would be like perfect. So we're gonna try and test this out unless she really wants to go and come with me, but um, she seems like she just wants to get ready for the day. So I might just go do this while she gets ready. Uh, you know, tomorrow's Mother's Day and stuff. So let me go try and get her nails done, pedicure, manicure, all that stuff today, whatever, whatever. But I need to take her truck to do the tires and stuff and she wants to go shopping for her mother. So figured I'd go knock this out while she gets ready. And we can go knock all of our stuff out, come back, mount up the new tires, and then uh, by then it'll probably be raining. So I'll have to finish the second half of the video tomorrow. But uh, at least I'll have a little bit of data. Hopefully some cool clips from um, the draggy overlay. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this pans out. So that first one we just did 
it was kind of just of a of a test i guess so um she was in the car uh, it was a little sketchy on this road here there's not like a whole lot of traffic it's just kind of narrow and there's like spots you can see there's like wet and dry wet and dry like where the trees are hanging it's kind of wet and stuff but we're gonna turn around and get another one she's gonna get a slow-mo of the launch uh so we can see like some wheel spin and uh All right, guys, had to go to a different spot. Not as much room, but not nearly as much traffic. So go ahead and turn the front GoPro on, do the draggy again, see if we even have enough room to do an eighth. And then go from there, I guess. There's room over here, too, a little bit. And there's, oh, we can just do it on this road right here, actually. I'm going to back up. We're going to try it on this road. After going from spot to spot to spot, we are back near the house at a spot that I don't really like. It's not the straightest road or the cleanest road, but there's literally no traffic or anything to really worry about. Um, knock on steering wheel. So we're gonna redo initial run here. Uh, one with her in the car, one without her in the car. And then after we change tires, we'll come back here, do it again. Sorry for all the wasted clips before this, but uh, not easy out here in Virginia with so much traffic. When we were in New Mexico, literally the main road we lived off of went for miles and miles and miles. Farm road, plenty of road. You guys remember uh, with all the cows and stuff doing all the digs and launches and rolls and data logging. Um, there's literally nothing even close, close to that out here. So it's a bit of a struggle, but we'll make it work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had our best eighth mile on the street. I think it's an 819 at like 85 or 86. So the best I've had at the track, I think was 8.3 at 84. So damn close, actually, surprisingly. So I'm going to pop these wheels off now, throw them in a the truck, and hopefully find a place to get them mounted. It's 2 p.m. on a Saturday, so it shouldn't be too terrible. It didn't, uh, if it's not raining by the time we're done, we'll go back out today. If not, we'll find a, a dry patch in the day tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can beat that time. What is up, guys? A couple of days later, got the tires mounted. Very happy. Um, they don't really feel, or I shouldn't say feel, they definitely feel different on the road. Like the steering is more direct and stuff, which is like super awesome. It feels even more sporty than it did before. There was a little bit more road noise, but that was to be expected, but it's nothing crazy. Like I have to, to tell a difference in road noise, I have to turn the music completely off. Like it's not something I can hear over um, the volume that I normally listen to music or anything. And I don't think it would bother, bother my daughter at all when she's in the back. Um, the only kind of issue is that the, the tires are extra wide. Like I got the same size tire knowing that it would be a little bit more wide, but not this wide. This is like, extreme <laughs> and they're quite a bit wider i don't think my it's so close it looks like my tires could hit my fender but i think you know because as tires go up they camber in more 
Um, I don't think it'll rub, but the bottom section of the tire, because of the way the body is, there's like a whole section of tire where there's not body. So the tire can kick up dirt and rocks and dust all up onto the side of the car. So now I'm trying to find a good, decent PPF shop in the area, which is something I've been wanting to do since I got the car. I just been kind of lazy about it, I guess. Anyway, we're almost to the spot where we were the other day. Um, we are going to warm the tires up a little bit here. I'm just gonna do some some quick scrubbing. Let's get us into dynamic mode, turn the AC off. See, my only issue is now it's Monday versus Saturday afternoon. And uh, hoping there isn't gonna be any traffic here. So I'm gonna make a lap around the block uh, make sure the coast is clear then we'll line up and give it a shot i have no doubt that these tires are more sticky and will result in a better time uh, the biggest difference between saturday and now is it, it's about let's say 10 to 15 degrees warmer than what it was saturday which kind of sucks kind of really sucks but uh, what can you do as soon as do 88 has the intercooler out, I'm ordering it. Got money set aside, ready, waiting for that. That's gonna make a huge difference. But until then, we'll deal with what we got. So, went out earlier, tried to get a run in. Car was just too damn hot. That was like on my way home from work. Uh, you know, 20 minutes traffic, this that and a third. It was like 60 something out and then. Should be like down to the 50-ish now. And that road, like I said, kind of really sucks. So I think I know of another road I'm gonna try, some drive around, get the oil just warm enough. We'll try it on another road. Hopefully we can get some better times. guys hopefully you can see me decent i can't see myself very decently um didn't go as i wanted to honestly i went out and did a bunch of hits on three different roads i did some earlier while it was hotter and now tonight uh, it's where it's a bit cooler i can't get a better time honestly um it's really right on par i'll show you this one clip here uh, I mean, it's basically spot on with what I did the other day with the other tires. These are, these tires are a little bit taller. I'm not trying to make any excuses. Basically, what it comes down to is these tires at this power level um, aren't that much. There's no real purpose on the street. Um, maybe at a at the strip um, with some with no prep. I mean, with the Pilots Sport 4S, whatever. I was spinning at VMP, so it was hurting my 60 foot drastically. Here, it doesn't seem like I'm spinning at all, but the, just the surface, I don't i don't know. It just ain't great. But I did like a 1.7060 before at the eighth mile with prep. So I don't know, it was because of the air there. It was kind of cooler, it was windy. We had, I think we had headwind that day though. So it'd be going, you know, you're driving against the wind. I don't know. There's a lot of data factors to consider, but essentially on the street, um, there's no point to get these tires, but that is not why we bought these tires. We bought these tires for autocross and we know for Sheezy that there is no possible way in hell that the Pilot Sport 4S would get anywhere near the RT660. These are gonna blow those out of the water. Of course, I'm not gonna have any real data for that. I never. We, autocross is never the same course more than once. Maybe we'll get it again, but run it backwards. And I don't even know if they do that out here in Virginia. That's how it was out in Texas. But um, I'm honestly surprised and I'm a little upset. I was hoping that uh, I would see a, a significant significant time increase to, you know, make me happy <laughs> yeah, um, on the street. But I, mean, I guess it is what it is. It's, uh, it's just that. Well, let me know what you guys think. And so there's a lot of variables, a lot of different data to consider, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can get back to the strip soon with some prep 
and actually get that break that I want to break that 1.760 foot but we'll see we'll see thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the flip-flop so it's been a couple days since I put the tires on a buddy of mine told me wait about 500 miles and then go back and compare to see um, if the times change because the tires do have like a little bit of a break in I guess and do some heat cycles with it so we'll do that and I'll make another video um, down the road, especially once we get an intercooler in, especially on these hot days. Like, this, you guys are MQB guys, you know, stock intercoolers are so freaking terrible. I mean, you heat soak almost instantly. So once we get the intercooler on, we can reattack. But the, like I said, the biggest change we're going to see is that autocross. Though I, I am upset. I didn't see a change on the street, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's not like I can change the boost or launch RPM or anything. The car's software is completely stock, and it's just uh, just what the data gave me. So, um, sorry, <laughs> this, this filter's kind of <laughs> awful. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.